Men are in the hospital after a three-car accident in Cranston. It happened on Comstock Parkway. NBC10's Susie Steimel has learned it isn't the first time an accident like this has happened here, and she's here now with more on that. Susie? Well, Frank, neighbors here say every time an accident like this happens on that area of Comstock Parkway in Cranston, they contact the mayor's office looking for something to change. Nothing they've tried so far has worked to get people to slow down on this stretch of road. Cars on Comstock Parkway are going by so quickly, Thomas Perota can barely stand in the street to sweep up glass left over from a major accident there Monday night. This is my third mailbox in, in my 10 year span, so I'm hoping it's my last. The driver who took out the mailbox Monday hit another car first, spinning that car into another one, making this a three-car accident. The driver who caused the crash was said to be driving nearly 80 miles an hour before ending up against this tree. The impact was so intense, it split his car in two. It was like a bomb went off on the front yard. Two drivers were hospitalized in the accident. Perota complains this is far from the first time something like this has happened here. He worries it won't be the last. We've gone to the mayor's office. We've been to the police department. You know, we've done the, the channels that you should normally do to have something taken care of. Well, you can't put a stop sign on a curb. Mayor Fung says he's aware of the ongoing issue and the city has increased patrols and added a speed gauge in the past there to let drivers know how fast they were going. So far, nothing has worked. Last night was just from my understanding excessive speed going into it and there's only so much that signage can do to stop you know, someone who's going to be speeding. As for the two men, the drivers of those cars who are in the hospital, there's no update on how they're doing, but everyone on the scene agrees they were lucky to have made it out alive. Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News.